Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for the third and final video blog of the night for Sunday, July 12, 2015, around 7.31 in the evening, Bellwick, Massachusetts. It's going to be a nice sunset in about an hour or so. Bellwick, Massachusetts reached 90. Most places reached 90, but Boston, Logan Airport officially reached 89 degrees, so no 90s yet for Boston, city of Boston. Some news to report, the USA beat the world in 10 to 1 at the Futures All-Star Game for Major League Baseball at, uh, at Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati. Major League Baseball is going to be on its All-Star break at the end of the night between the um, Pirates and the Cardinals. And they were showing promos on Antenna TV today about Family Tie reruns that is coming in September. And there's been rumors that Buzzer TV is going to have reruns of the classic TV game show The Price is Right sometime next year. And that's about it on the news. My third and final video blog subject of the night is my personality profile. It's a continuation of personality profiles about former match game panelists and stuff. And I've reached my personality profile tonight is the late actress Marsha Wallace. Marsha was a match game semi-regular in the 1970s plus she appeared in two classic television series The Bob Newhart Show and The Simpsons. Marsha was born and she grew up in Creston, Iowa and her father owned and operated a general merchandise store and Marsha worked there as a kid. Marsha was interested in a career of journalism into high school when she acted in a high school play and her one of her teachers said she should perform because she was so good at acting that she should go for this for a career and then Marsha did. Marsha went to Parsons College in, Idaho, in Fairfield, Iowa to major in English and theater and she was in a lot of plays in college and after she graduated from college she moved from Iowa to New York City. Marsha only had about $150 with her when she moved to New York City, but she wanted to become a great actress. And she appeared in summer stock off-Broadway plays and improv shows. During that time in New York City, she had to take odd jobs like a typist and stuff and a substitute teacher just to make ends meet. She wanted to make it big in, in the world of acting. In the early 1970s, Marsha moved from New York City to Los Angeles because Los Angeles was becoming the capital of all entertainment movies, television shows, you name it, because New York City was, you know, dying of entertainment center of the world during the 1970s. And Marsha was a regular on the Merv Griffin show. She appeared on there many times. One time she appeared on there, one of the producers of MTM Productions called Marsha up and they offered her a role on a, on a TV sitcom called the Bob Newhart Show as Kawa Kessler. She was Bob's secretary and Jerry the dentist secretary and Marsha was on the Bob Newhart Show for six years and she played Carol Kessler and it was a funny role and stuff and it was awesome and stuff and that was one of Marsha's most famous roles. She guest starred on several sitcoms such as Full House, Alf, The Brady Bunch. She also starred in um, TV um, crime drama series Columbo, Magnum P.I. Back in the 60s she appeared on the classic TV sitcom Bewitched and she also appeared on A Different World and she appeared in some movies and st stuff including My Mother is a Werewolf, Teen Witch and Goose Leaves 3 and she also in the early 1980s Marsha appeared in a stage production of, the, of Neil Simon's The Odd Couple with like female version she was in The Odd Couple 
along with fellow actress and comedian Joanne Worley, which was I heard it was pretty funny. And Marsha also appeared on several game shows. She was a panelist on several game shows. She was probably one of the like biggest stars of a television series in the 1970s to appear on game shows because many big time stars never appeared on game shows. She appeared as a panelist on Hollywood Squares, Password Putlers, Super Password, Card Sharks, Family Feud, The $25,000 Pyramid, and a few others, including Match Game. She was a regular on Match Game. I'm um, semi-regular from 1973 to 1982. She usually sat in the sixth and final position of the role. She was pretty good as a panelist for Match Game and stuff like that. And when Match Game was revived in 1990, Marsha appeared on um, on like Match Game from time to time, but she sat in the upper section, like the second seat. And f from night current people know like this this era of, of people who watch television stuff Marsha is was known to have was the voice of Edna Krapapo on the Simpsons that was Bart Simpson's fourth grade teacher she was a voice of Edna Edna for over 25 years she was pretty good at it and stuff like that and Marsha also appeared as a maid on the parody that's my bush on comedy central which lasted only about a year or two and stuff like that marsha continued to be the voice of edna until her death in 2013 of cancer at the age of 70 and stuff after marsha passed away um her the teacher edna was phased out of the simpsons and stuff like that marsha was a very talented actress and stuff she she was known for like kind of two iconic roles like Carol Kessler on Bob Newhart's show and Edna Krapuko on The Simpsons stuff. Plus she was very good appearing on game shows and stuff like that, being a match game panelist and stuff as a semi-regular, plus appearing on other game shows as well. She was a good game show player and stuff like that. Pretty good to always to see her playing the game shows and stuff like that. Probably got her more, like more appearances and stuff like that on other shows and stuff like that. And that's about it on Marsha Wallace. That's about it on these video blogs for tonight, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Tomorrow you're going to get three more. First video blog will be about my review of the Great American Bash WCW pay-per-view in 1997. Then the second video blog of the day will be about the, the places that most likely Bill Simmons, the sports guy, will land. There's a few places I'm going to tell you where he most likely will land in the near future. The third and final video blog in life will be about um, personality profile. Another s celebrity who regularly appeared on Match Game, Patty Duke. And don't forget, Tuesday will be the last video blog for personality profiles into the end of the month. Because that's going on summer vacation. It's going to be about America's sweetheart Betty White to conclude um, personality profiles who appeared on the match game. And more and more stuff coming in the coming days and weeks. More MBTA bus routes, more sports things, maybe Max 2. Definitely, we're going to talk about Bash at the Beach reviews starting on Friday. And in, in August, the personality profiles, some big ones including Terry Funk, you egg-sucking dog, you dusty rose, and Patrice Bergeron of the Boston Bruins, and Jenny McCarthy. Have a good night, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And don't forget, keep calm. And I'm a Julie Brennan guy, Molly Rosenblatt of Fox 35 Rocks, and Dr. Sharky always says this action will not be Tolerate at BMHS and Mr. Donald Stavey Lee used to say happy day. And in the words of Sean Lucha, get out. See you later, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Bye now.